so I thought Juliana's chair would be a good example to uh, use to show some rigging uh, because it has multiple joints and it has this kind of sliding track uh, on it. Uh, and I can show how to use the uh, history independent IK uh, to uh, affect it. But first I want to show a little bit, um, uh, you know, it's, it's got some, you know, it's all, it's a little bit out of alignment uh, with things and I want to get it centered up so that uh, at all the pivot points will be uh, centered up on things um, and you know, we, can, we can work from there. Uh, so let's take a look at, at this and and what what I've done is linked I've linked everything uh, except uh, this to the to the you know, back of the or to the seat of the chair so you see if I move the seat um, the, you know, these the all these other parts go with it and, and I think I've linked most of the things to the seat yeah uh, but I, it has a um, uh, path controller uh, on it so let me uh, I want to take that off so that, um, yes, yeah, so it's got a path constraint on it, and really it just needs a position uh, x, y, and yeah, and you see it kind of zoom out. And let's just move it back here and get it roughly uh, in position. So let's take a look at it from the side here. I'm likely going to be doing some repositioning anyway. Um, let's move it up a bit. fact yeah I think it was actually aligned with that yeah originally aligned with that path so let's get it somewhat close to that and then to get everything centered up yeah, let's move all that. what I'm going to do is in this top view um, just create a box And then I'm going to center it up, so I'm going to right click on the X and Y so that its pivot point is all right there at the origin. And then I can control I to invert my selection and get everything else. Uh, and then use my align tool and pick the box. And let's see, I want, um, I want the pivot point of everything to be at um, the center of the box and let's see I don't think I need to change any Z positions yeah so just X and Y and let's see let's uh, take a look at orientation constraints I think the only thing that's affecting is the um, is that is that line I'm gonna draw it again anyway so uh, that that'll be okay so I'm just gonna say okay and now everything should be nicely centered up um, and hopefully oriented uh, correctly. Let me take a look at it. Yeah, and I can probably tell even better from here. Right, everything. You know, before I was getting a little bit of. Um, um, I, can, I can undo it. You see how things are slightly off. You know, it just in the rotation uh, there. So let me uh, redo that, and you'll see that now there. You know, everything's all kind of lined up. Uh, but I do, let's see, I want to get rid of that line. don't really need it. I'll redraw it when it's time for that. And I don't need this box anymore, so let me delete that. So now let's check, make sure everything's still linked up. Okay, yep, it's all good. I'll make sure this can actually move independently, yes. Uh, so let's uh, create the rig. What we want is um, it, when we want this thing, when it moves down, as it rotates down, it should pull this with it, and this this piece uh, should then rotate up. And let's double check. Yeah, right now I think yeah, its its uh, center of rotation needs to be uh, right here. So let's go ahead and change that. So with that selected, I'll uh, go to my hierarchy tab, affect pivot point only, and again I'll use my align tool. And let's pick this the rod that's uh, in there. Um, hmm, seems to be aligning a little bit off. Um, oh, don't have Z check. There we go. And then let's make sure that yes, and I don't need the alignment. Uh, so that its pivot point is aligning with uh, the center at X, Y, and Z. Let's say okay. So now let's back out and double check that. Oh, let's go to our perspective view just to make sure it's yet lined up 
Uh, and if it's you know slightly off, that, that's probably okay. Um, in fact, some all of these may be slightly off. Yeah, they're they're all probably a little bit off center. Uh, but as long as they're uh, aligned with each other, let's see. Actually, let me see if I can zero that one up, and that might help some of these others. Mm, yeah, and let's see. Um, that one's good, and that one's good. Okay. This actually looks a little bit off now. I wonder if its pivot was, uh, let's see, let's center it to the object. And then get out of that and right click it. Yep, and there we go. And since its rotation is going to be controlled by the um, This, this right here, we may want to do some uh, aligning on it. So let's go to its a pivot point and let's get zoomed in. And we'll see it. I'm trying to remember which one of these is the rod and which one is the wheel. And we'll try the center one. Um, I may just have to move it manually. Uh, so let's go to the align tool and uh, pick that. And let's see, I want its. Um, uh, let's see, we don't need, yep. another thing I know, let's see, make sure, yeah, I am in world, uh, so, align tool, uh, pick the rod, um, let's see, yeah, it should be going pivot point to center, um, may just have to do a little bit of, uh, aligning, uh, myself, but, uh, I'll just say OK, and it looks like yeah, it's it's all centered up now. It's just a matter of kind of dragging it. I'm not quite centered, uh, so let's just manually. And as long as it's, you know, I can get in and get really close. Let's see, let's align it to one of those, and, it, and then just pull it up to the center. And let's make sure it's aligned um, here in the. Oh, uh, see, yeah, I probably picked one of the back things. I don't think those rods go all the way through. Well, that's okay. What we can do is affect pivot point only, and then in the x axis, just click it to zero uh, so we know it's good. Okay, so now um, make sure that everything, yep, still. Uh, all aligned. So now we can make a uh, rig uh, to move. What we want is this, as this um, as this footrest rotates down, it's going to pull this leg piece with it, and it's going to pivot the um, seat uh, on it. So with uh, with this linked in this kind of hierarchy, what we want to do is create a um, an IK chain between the foot piece and the seat. So to do that, I'm going to select uh, the foot and um, come over to Animation, IK Solvers, History Independent Solver, and then with my little rubber band, I'm going to reach up and click on uh, the, the seat here. And so you notice that it automatically puts this controller in, and it's, it's enabled, and it's an uh, inverse kinematic history independent solver, uh, and it's selected. So you'll note that as we move it, sure enough, uh, the uh, the seat rotates and or the um, the leg piece moves and the seat rotates uh, around it. But now what we need to do is you notice that you know, we if we uh, just rotate this guy, you know, we're not really getting anything. Uh, so what we need to create is some and its pivot point is out here, and we want and we want this to move in an arc relative to that pivot point. So we need to make uh, a little bit of extra pieces. Uh, to that won't be seen at render time uh, to control that. So what I'm going to do is rotate around in my perspective view here, and I'm just going to make a rectangular uh, piece of geometry uh, that uh, just a rectangular shape. So I'm going to go to my uh, shapes and rectangle, and we'll turn on auto grid because I want it to be roughly oriented to this to the the um, foot piece here. 
And so I'm just going to draw it out and let it go a little bit past so I can you know, you pick it and um, you know just let it be like that. And then um, I'm going to go to the Move tool and let's see, make sure I'm not in. Yep. And go to its hierarchy and affect its pivot. And or sorry, not affect its pivot. I can just locate its geometry right now. Uh, let's get it zeroed up in, in X. Doesn't matter about Y uh, and Z. And then we may need to do a little bit of rotating and readjusting of its pivot. So let's move it down so it's roughly centered uh, around this thing and that its endpoint is roughly in the center of the rotation of this. Again, we're going to rotate this later. We just need this thing to act as the controller and we need its pivot uh, to be uh, right down here at the end. So we want to affect pivot point only. And this time we'll turn on snaps and uh, make sure that uh, yeah, I think I've got I think I've got midpoint yeah set in there, so it will midpoint snap to the end down here. So I'm just going to move it off a little bit and then take it down to that end. And yep, yeah, that's good. And let's make sure it's at the midpoint. Oh, no, it pulled it over. That's okay. Um, and effect pivot point only again. We can just right click it. There we're good. It's at it's at zero zero. It's really not going to matter because we're going to be rotating around the x-axis, but just to kind of uh, keep things simple. Um, so now if we rotate this thing, you know, it should rotate yeah, around that point. And so let's get it slightly aligned, a little bit better aligned with, the, um, with the, the foot here, just so we can get a sense of how much to rotate it. Uh, let's see, maybe one degree. Yeah, that'll do it. It's not perfect, but it's close enough. Uh, and then what we want to do is attach this, uh, the controller, to this so that when this rotates, it pulls the controller with it and thus in that arc uh, that would be from there to there and thus um, it creates a um, movement of, of all this. So I'm just going to get my link tool and select and link it to that. And that's the way I linked all these other pieces too. So. Uh, if you didn't know that already. Uh, so now when I have this and I bring up the rotation mode, if I rotate it, you see it it pulls that with it. And what we'll have to do is uh, until I can come up with a better rig, I'm going, we're going to have to counter rotate because you see the footrest doesn't rotate, everything else does. We're going to have to uh, just counter rotate it uh, at render time uh, for an, or for animation. Um, so let me uh, finish uh, or stop here and I'll come back and show how to set up the uh, path constraint so that as this thing, you know, as we rotate all this and the, the seat moves up, then this stays, uh, you know, this, this can move along this track. Now I know Juliana may have re redone this thing uh, since, a little bit different design, but it would uh, maybe you know, fairly similar uh, to what, what uh, is going on here. Uh, so when I come back, I'll set all that up.